Hannah, your dating history is whack. I can't believe you've only been with three guys. I have three days lined up tonight in case this gets too boring. I've killed more people than you've dated. So have you lined up any dates at all? I was messaging with a guy online who I had a lot in common with, but he turned out to just be a sentient computer. Yes. Yeah, that lines up. But when I finally do date a human man, won't it be weird? In the office for Jeremy? No, Tamara and I have both broken up with guys at work and it is fine. Don't forget about me and Dr. Schulman. Anyway, she and Morgan are really close right now. <laughs> We're not that close. I mean, sure, we have lunch together every day and I talk to him before I do something big, but outside of work, we only hang out like four, five times a week. Hey, sister, denial ain't just a member of One Direction. Excuse me, ladies. That gentleman over there just sent these your way. Oh, he fine. Oh, actually, stop. These are all for her. The gentleman didn't know what you liked, so he sent you over a whole assortment. And it's up to you if you want to share with your, I want to say, bus driver friends. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Anna, you hit pay dirt. The guy is hot, and he's definitely rich, because he could afford to send over four drinks. Um, next steps? Call him over. Okay, I'll do it. Hey, Blondie! <sighs> So, even though I have my grandfather's trust fund, I feel lucky not to have to touch it because of the money I got from winning the Amazing Race with my gay brother. Oh my god, I remember that season. He came out to you on the show. It was the most surprising hot air balloon ride of my life. <laughs> Anna, you two have so much in common. Financially, racially. You don't see a lot of adult blonde men. They tend to darken. Mm. I don't know much about reality TV. I prefer live theater. My ex, Jeremy, actually has written several one-man shows. Ow! Well, I, I love the theater too. Maybe I could take you sometime. There's a new jukebox musical coming out based on the songs of Slipknot. It's called Barf Machine. Devin, thank you so much for the drink. It was as intoxicating as the conversation, mildly. But I just got out of a relationship, so I'm not I, really ready. I understand. But if you change your mind, here's my card. I'd like to get to know you. Oh! Oh my god! <coughs> I apologize. I, okay. Wow! I have never in my life been banned from a bar because of someone else's bad behavior. What the hell, Anna? I'm sorry, I told you I was awkward with men. Awkward would be Zoe De Chanel playing a jazz standard on the ukulele. You crushed a man's windpipe. I'm sorry, I just miss Jeremy and whenever anybody else touches me, I have a bit of a violent reaction. This is a little dramatic. Oh, oh my <laughs> God! Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, do you thought being dramatic, it's real. Sorry. That's the tenth time you brought up Jeremy. Whoever he is, you must really love him. Oh, God. Maybe I do love him. Maybe I don't need to date other people. I just want Jeremy. He was the one. He was in front of me the whole time. And I just took him for granted. OK, OK, you've been single for like two days. Why don't you wait a little longer? Then why you freshmen show up next week? Aren't you married? Yeah, but that's not like fun. That's not like hanging out with girlfriends and going to bars. That's very disturbing, and you should examine your relationship. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I have to leave. Aw, oh, man, Anna's hotness was gonna get us into the club. Well, at least we have you, Tamara. <laughs>